We're Cooper Bryson's family. I'm Cooper's dad, Matt, and this is Cooper's mom, Monica. Every summer we like to go to the beach with Cooper and, and Chloe and Cole, uh, Cooper's brother and sister, Monica's family, and spend a week there and take Cooper out on the beach and let the kids play and just hang out with family. Um, we like to go to the park when it's nice weather. We have a place at, out back and we like to do that and just hang out as a family as much as we can. Outside of the hospital. Yeah. he started having a really big seizure that he never really kind of came back from. And so dad took him to the ER. He got admitted. It was the day after his yeah. second birthday. They did an MRI. Once we got in the hospital after a couple of days, they found that he had brain cancer and it was like the size of a tennis ball and they had to do immediate surgery, I think the next morning. The initial diagnosis when we found out it was cancer, you just want to say, no, you're, you got to be kidding me. You're going to come back in five minutes laughing, you know. Statistics and what the doctors had told us is if you're diagnosed before three, it's a really small chance that you're going to recover. And I think Cooper was given between like three and five percent chance of making it. So we went through a lot of different things the next nine months, um, starting up chemotherapy, a lot of different tests, um, other surgeries and a lot of different things just to try to, you know, minimize his suffering while he was in there. So we had roughly an hour between the time Cooper got out of surgery and went to recovery and made it back up to his room where they were going to keep him in the ICU. And then finally they said, well, this is your social worker. And she just came with like books and pamphlets and clipboards. And I was like, she looks like she has some, some <laughs> stuff she needs to give us. So we were sitting there and she was telling us about you know, the costs and medications and lifelong, you know, like equipment and how expensive these things were. And I started panicking because we hadn't really thought of that yet. We hadn't gotten that far into it to where we even processed that he had cancer. And I started sweating. I was just like, we don't have millions and millions and millions of dollars. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? We don't have that kind of money. And then she handed us some pamphlets and she said, and there's a foundation called the Four Diamonds that is going to cover everything. And I was just in shock. And my first thought was, can we meet all the people? I want to meet every single one of them. Can we meet these people? And she goes, oh, you'll get to meet them and you'll become really good friends with them. And so it was a really big, it felt like, I don't know, his, your heart was just in your stomach and it felt like, for a quick moment that everything was going to be okay. Even though you didn't know that, you felt like you were going to be fine. So now that you know a little bit about our family and what we've been through, our struggle, and more about our fighter Cooper, we want to say thank you so much to all you guys out in Pittsburgh and surrounding areas for all the hard work you do, all the fundraising. We're so glad to see so many people participating in mini thons, and we would not be here, we could not be here without all your love and support. So thanks so much. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for helping my, my brother Cooper get better. Mm. Mm. Mm.
Thank you, thank you, thank you.